So Jeff, what do you got for us for a solution? So the other side, obviously, we've got that deck, so that's getting darkened. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to saw cut an opening in the foundation on the front side. There'll be a walkway that'll go by it, and we'll create a window well so that we retain the earth. But we've uh, lined up a window to, to match these two windows that are uh, in that front mudroom. So the grade that I'm seeing right here is basically the finished grade. Is that yeah. roughly the height? Yeah, it'll carry right across here. Hence the window well. Yep. Is it yep. necessary? Is this for um, code or aesthetics or what? You're supposed to have two operable uh, basement windows per code. Yeah. And obviously the other windows will remain there, but they really aren't going to yeah. allow for much daylight. So it's really more of a daylight convenience than it is cool. anything else. All right, well, I'm dying to find out what Bill's going to be doing yeah. for us. So let me check. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Good morning. I'm coming into your hole, OK? So good morning. What is your process for cutting this hole here? OK, so essentially we're going to cut out <clears throat> the concrete with a giant skill saw yep. with a big blade cutting through. So the first step is you determine where the window is going to be, you mark your lines, and you set anchors. Beautiful. These anchors hold the, this type of plate that will rotate on a cam that will give you an adjustment nice. to where the track has to go. I've already done that here. Right. This is all set to the cut line, which is right here. Okay. Okay. And the track is going to be holding what? The track will hold this part of the saw, which is called the carriage. Yep. Right. This carriage mounts on here. It runs on rollers that run it back and forth and a, a cog gear that lets it move back and forth. I'll run the, the saw back and forth with a drill with the gear. And the blade, obviously the blades are right here. What, right? Do I get, what do you got for a blade? Okay, so this is a diamond blade, Yep. right? There's diamonds inside each one of these segments, right? The exposed diamonds, the rotation cuts the concrete. How many cuts do you get out of a blade like this? A blade like this, you probably get 40 or 50 cuts. And what determines how long it lasts is the aggregate in the concrete and the amount of rebar in right. the concrete. Okay. And in terms of safety for you, what are you doing to keep the dust down, to stop the chips coming okay, out? What's so your process? To, to keep the dust down, everything we use is with water. We pump water from the truck. Mm -hmm. It goes through the saw. It serves a dual purpose. It cools the motor, lubricates the blade, and keeps the dust down. Got it. OK. It runs through a conversion box that takes it from 60 hertz, which is typical electric, converts it to 400 hertz. So it essentially boosts the power seven times. You gotta get me one of those. Yeah. Didn't know they even existed. We've got eight and a half inches here. With this blade, which is a 24-inch blade, we're going to switch this one out and go to a 30 to get us through the 10 and a half we need. Okay. So the second blade did a trick, right? Went all the way through. Yep. Now you got to go to vertical. Right. Oh, look at that. Hey, Bill. Bill, you're the man. That's awesome. So what do you got next, Jeff? So we got a pressure, double pressure treated frame going all the way around. One down the middle to line up with that mullion, and we got two new windows going in. Love it. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.